Today, I am going to solve a problem on C13 NMR. You can find this problem in CA78 exam, 2014 December. Here is a problem. The ratio of the relative intensities of the carbon signals in the first order C13 NMR spectrum of CD3Cl is given options are here. Several ratio has been given which one is correct. First, let us try to predict how many signals will we get for CD3Cl. So to predict the number of signal, or multiplicity, the formula of whatever we use is 2 n i plus 1 where n is the number of hydrogen or deuterium i that is spin value. In the case of CD3Cl n is 3. What about I? For hydrogen, the spin value is off, but for deuterium, it is 1. So, the signal should be septed. If you know this, you can eliminate two options that is first and second what will be the multiplicity for CDCL3 I can apply the same formula 2 n is 1 and i is 1 plus 1 we get triplet what about CD2Cl2? Two n is two. I it is one plus one. So it is five. Not only for CD3Cl. For deuterated acetone. In this case also n is 3. Since it is symmetrical, you should not consider this. It is 3. So we get septet. One more thing. It is deuterated DMSO D6. Here also it is same. Another one it is CD3 deuterated methanol. In all these cases we get accepted. You may be familiar with CDCL3. In this case we get a triplet and the intensity of that will be. Before explaining I go for what will be the multiplicity in the case of proton. For example, I go for ethanol. This CH3, it is expected to be triplet. I apply the same formula to N. It is 2 and the I for hydrogen it is off plus 1 so 3 so this CH3 is expected to be triplet and the intensity ratio it is obtained by Pascal's triangle you may be familiar with this one that is nothing but
So this is for doublet, this is for triplet, this is for quartet, this is for quintet. This is the intensity ratio. If this proton is splitted by one proton, then what we get is doublet. And the intensity ratio will be same. When it is further splitted, what we do is we put again like this. So we get one, two, one. You have to add this and this. So one, two, one. So we get this value. Similarly, you can get this also, that is 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, you will get 1, 3, 3, 1. So this is this value. If you add another one like this, then you will get this value. It goes like this. From this Pascal triangle itself, you can calculate very easily. You have to add this two and put the value. Then here one, add this two value, put here. Add this value, goes like this. Is it applicable in the case of deuterium? Yes, a similar triangle is known, but it is somewhat different. So when it is splitted by one, what we get is three peaks of same intensity. Now, how to go for another one? So if there is one deuterium, then we'll get this and it is triplet. The next one, D2, it should be quintet. So five signals. How to get that? So we go for like this, one, then we add this together, this and this, so we get two. Then we add all three. Next, this and this. Then the last one. The earlier one, we consider only two. But in this case, you have to go for three. So if there is only two, Two deuterium atom like CD2, Cl2. In this case, this is the intensity ratio. You will get quintet and the intensity ratio will be like this. When you go for D3, it will be seven signals, seven peaks and the ratio will be like this. One, 1 plus 2, 3, 1, 2, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6. Then next I have to leave this, I have to go for remaining 3. 2 plus 3 plus 2, it is 7. Then this 3, 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6. Then 2 plus 1, 3, finally 1. So this will be the intensity ratio of the seven peaks in CD3 CL. Not only that one, even deuterated acetone, DMSO D6 and methanol D4. For that also it is applicable. This can be also obtained like this. Sorry. So the earlier case I mentioned only two, but now it is three. So if you add, what you get is one. So if there are two deuterium atom, then you will get this ratio, this whatever I have mentioned. If it is three. You have to put this three times.
and add 1 3 6 7 6 3 1 this is the value whatever I have got here so you can calculate like this also or directly you can go for this triangle now let us go to the given options the first two already we have eliminated since the multiplicity is not matching the last one this is whatever we have seen in the triangle what about this 1 6 15 20 15 6 1 that you will get in Pascal's triangle so if it is hydrogen then you will get that value I will go for that So this is Pascal's triangle. You can see this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I mentioned you will get 7 peaks. And this ratio has been given. But you cannot apply Pascal's triangle for deuterium. Only for proton multiplicity you can use that. For deuterium you have to go for the triangle whatever I have explained. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.